Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Mafia. The Mafia Definitive Edition story trailer just dropped, and that is what you're seeing in the background. And what I wanted to do was go through this trailer, pick out some things I noticed, and also show you some comparisons, because I noticed quite a few things in here. So without further ado, let's jump into this trailer. You Tommy, Detective Norman. Okay, first things first. This is a little bit different to the original game. So in the original game, it's Tommy that enters into the cafe, not the detective. That slightly confused me. Detective Norman, can I join you? So obviously, as you can see, it's a little bit different. Although, I'm going to point out some things I notice in the background, including the fact that we have a different bar in the background. This is completely different than what you see in the original game. Also, we have what looks like possibly a menu back here, but I've got to say right now, the detail on the clothing is incredible. Okay, quickly pause here because... Damn, this game is gorgeous. <laughs> uh, it's, it is really quite beautiful. I am incredibly impressed with how this game looks. Uh, we got some kind of rain effects on the ground here. We got some puddles over here. It looks amazing, and I can't wait to explore this world. How long you been in town? Three years. <laughs> okay, we got a shot here of a main high street, and yeah, you guys can see the amount of attention to detail this was something i was quite worried about with it being a remake of such a classic game i was worried they wouldn't have the same amount of detail but you've got what looks like a lady stood on this fire escape here and you've got all of these pedestrians down here i'm assuming that this is from the main intro sequence of the game because that is when you go and meet the detective <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, this is absolutely stunning. They handed you the Morello case right out of the gate. Also, to point out attention to detail, I want to bring your attention to the coffee mug. Look at this coffee mug. Look at the detail here. There are bubbles in this coffee. Like, who would notice that apart from me because I'm a nerd? <laughs> this is incredible. Also, if you look at this newspaper, you can see what's actually written on it. So we've got um, Lost Heaven Courier, the Daily Picture newspaper. We've got printed in 1H News, Inc., 1 Lake Avenue, Lost Heaven. Uh, Morello dies in Fireball. Uh, and you're going to be seeing Morello throughout this trailer. But uh, this is incredible attention to detail. And I know this is a cutscene and not gameplay, but if they're putting this amount of detail into a cutscene, then, oh boy, I, I can't wait to see gameplay. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? This must be getting pretty cold by now. That scene there um, takes place right after our first mission, uh, where we help Salieri's boys escape from the Morello gang. When I opened the envelope, I almost had a heart attack. There was more than it would cost to do the repairs, but I didn't for a minute think about their offer. I didn't want to join some criminals, even if they had all the money in the world. It's better to be poor and alive than rich and dead, right? I was going to get my cab repaired and try to forget it all as soon as possible. As my mother always said, you can never predict what God has in store for you. I love this. This looks great. I wanted to go back, actually, and quickly take a look back at Tommy, because it's not something I've mentioned up until this point. I'm not a big fan of his redesign. I think he looked better. In the original game obviously the original game is quite dated visually i'm gonna say right now i think he looks a little bit too generic here um and you'll see that throughout the trailer it's one of the things I, i'm not too big on but apart from that everything else here is absolutely fantastic the design is incredible uh, the amount of detail on the clothing is incredible but what do you guys think i want to hear your comments getting pretty cold by now or you guys something might warm it up yeah 
And there we have Morello. Now, unfortunately, I didn't record the cutscene for this, but this cutscene basically has Morello. I think his car gets hit by someone, and he ends up getting out and absolutely annihilating the guy, and you'll be seeing that throughout this trailer. I might have some. We have a little bit closer up of Tommy. I really love the attention to detail on skin texture. You can see his five o'clock shadow a little bit. You can see kind of where his hair follicles are. That's mad, and I absolutely adore it. Oh, and yeah, and there you go. So yeah, as you guys can see, that is obviously the scene where he absolutely annihilates the guy. This for me is really interesting because we have only just completed this quest in the game in our current Let's Play of the original Mafia. Uh, which I'll be leaving in the description below. But um, this is incredible. This place looks beautiful. I will say they have redesigned it. You have um, no pulpit here anymore. Now, the pulpit, you used to be able to climb up here and shoot the guy that would be behind the camera uh, with the Tommy gun. So I want to show you the original cutscene here, and then I'll explain some things. You know, I, I wanted to pay my respects to Bill today and to tell him that I considered him as my own brother. That his death was a great loss for me. Huh? Uh, what? Are, I was that present is, at his death. And how? That's the one. And that's the bastard who killed Billy. Get him, Garo. See you in hell. Don't right. move. Get down, Bada. Okay. So Tommy is hiding in theory in a doorway that should be around here, and he comes out, and you hide behind <laughs> this guy. Who, who died in a previous mission. Uh, but you hide behind here, and you can take shots at the guys that are hiding behind these different seats. And the priest, in theory, is hiding in a room around here. You've got the sunlight coming through the windows here. And yeah, it really does look nice. I'm not sure who this random guy is. I'm assuming he's just one of the gang that we end up taking down during this mission. And we have, of course, Tommy and Sarah. I think that this could be a screenshot of its own. I think this looks beautiful. Uh, I'm imagining this is when they enter her home after he defends her. Hey, looky here. Who's the cute pair? There they are. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I love her design. I think she looks um, similar to what she did in the original. And yeah, I, I love this. This may be my favorite shot in this trailer. For comparison, here is a bit of the cutscene from the original game. So this is my kingdom. Come in and take a load off. I'll have a look at your wounds. This is quite a kingdom. Roll up your sleeves, sir. Help is at hand. Would you care for a drink, Tom? Well, I could use a little whiskey if you got it. Sure thing. This evening's getting interesting. Oh, <laughs> that's a great place to pause. I'm going to say right now um, that I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing this mission. Um, I got warned that it was incredibly difficult, but the racing mission I, I really did enjoy. you got Swift Cola up here, you got Trago, um, radios, batteries, and tires. I think that says because of the motion blur, it's kind of distorted. But uh, yeah, the car looks incredible. I'm excited to play this. Unfortunately, it's the only shot that we get in this entire trailer. Now, I wanted to point out these characters because the person we have here, this is actually our new Paulie. Now, we're going to get a better shot of Paulie later on in this trailer. But yeah, I will say I really like his redesign. So this is from the Better Get Used To It mission. Hey, pal. <whistles> Don Salieri sends his regards. Go ahead. I'd really love to hear it. I love this. I really, I really like this. It's awesome. You got Paulie here kind of getting ready to hit the guy. It looks great. You've got these amazing reflections on the floor here. Of course, Tommy's here. Paulie's here. And if we go forward a little bit. <laughs> you can... <laughs> That's amazing. That, you know, that could just be the thumbnail right there. Um, I will say that they do use motion blur in this trailer a lot to the point where it was kind of difficult for me to get specific screenshots. I wish there was a version of this trailer that was released without the motion blur, but I love this. This is great. I, I really liked this mission. 
Oh, hang on. Go back. Go back. Okay. So that is a trip to the country. Uh, and you are saving Sammy here. Um, we literally did this quest in the last video. Because I have only got up to this quest in Mafia 1. I, I started playing the game around the time when Mafia Definitive Edition was announced. Um, so we've just gotten up to this mission. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think that this looks great. We only get a brief instance of seeing this. But you can tell that this is the barn, and I'm guessing we're going to be shooting out of here to take down the cops. Here is the original Mafia in this same scene. What the hell's going on here? Tom, are you alive? Get out here and help me. Christ, that was a massacre. This is one hell of a night. It looks like they want to get us completely out of the picture. Yeah? Well, that ain't gonna be so easy. Is Sam okay upstairs? Yeah, he's okay. At least he isn't any worse. Okay, I'll get him. You keep watch here. Sam, it's me, Paulie! He must be coming down or something. Hmm, I guess so. Your nose is running a little. Ah. Sam, I'll put you in the back. Tom will be with you, just in case. Okay. Now, one thing I did notice here is Tommy doesn't do that in the original. He doesn't even get involved, in theory. He just kind of stands there. Um, <laughs> it's Paulie who ends up bringing Sammy out. So that's kind of interesting. They have mixed things up a little bit. There is so much going on here in this couple of seconds. I personally don't know what missions these are because I haven't got this far. But I want to take a quick look back because not only is Pepe's restaurant being absolutely annihilated, I think I've heard about this mission, I haven't got to this yet, um, but good god this looks amazing. <laughs> We've got this wood chipping here on the door. If this is anything like Mafia 2, where you end up doing a similar thing, you will have like pieces of wood coming off, you will have kind of glass going everywhere, realistically, and for someone who loves attention to detail, this is really quite cool. Okay, I've just noticed something, which is slightly interesting and may lead me to believe that we can customize cars. If you look here to the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see that one of the cars has a number plate that is all just A's. Now in Mafia 2, you could change the number plate of your vehicle. And in that, you could literally just type in a, 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 if you're too bored to actually write anything specific. Does this mean we will have car customization? That's interesting. If not, then why does this car have this number plate? So yeah, you have this sequence on a bike. And I don't even remember there being any bikes in Mafia 1. I'm guessing I haven't got to that point yet, or they've been added into this remake. I'm not sure. But yeah, you have him sliding off a bike going into a full slide, pulling his gun out and firing at something. This looks like something out of a James Bond movie. It looks incredible. And here we have a giant factory being blown up. Now, people who have completed the game will obviously know what this is, but I'm going to bring up Morello, because if you remember, Morello dies in Fireball. Is this possibly related to this explosion? It could be, it might not be. As I said, I haven't completed the game yet, but there you go. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. So this is amazing. Um, this is obviously Salieri. You have this sit down with him around the start of the game and he asks you what your name is. Now I'm going to play the original cutscene here. What do they call you, son? Thomas Angelo. As you can see, they've changed some things, including the script. The script is slightly different. All the voice acting has been redone. Um, also, Frank is on the other side. I will say that Frank looks the same as he did in the original. I really like how they've kept him the same. Here is a comparison, side by side, of Salieri in the original and him in the remake. And I'm going to say... I, I don't dislike either. I think that he looks good in this. I, I, what can I say? I like this. This is really nice. And this is what I was talking about with the Paulie change. I will say, I really do like this redesign. Um, I think he looks a lot more unique um, than the Paulie in the original. I don't know if they've maybe modelled him on his voice actor. Maybe that's what they've done. But here's a side-by-side -side again. Um, as close as I could get anyway. Now, this is the last thing I wanted to point out here. 
Uh, the closest thing that I could find to this in my current Let's Play is the scene in the church when he ends up pointing the gun at the priest. Is that this sequence, or is that maybe a later sequence that I haven't got to yet? Because I will say the background doesn't look like the church. I'm wondering if this is maybe a later cut scene in the game. But for comparison's sake, let's put both side by side. You guys can see here the redesign. You can see the difference in quality. Um, the attention to detail on clothing, as I've said before, is impeccable. It really is beautiful. And I can't wait to see gameplay. Sir. And there we have the theme. Oh my god, that gave me chills. <laughs> okay, All right, let, let's go back to do that again. Hang on. Thomas Angelo, sir. It sounds like they've redone it as well, uh, but not changed it. They've just re-recorded it and it sounds beautiful. Oh boy, okay. I am incredibly excited about this. This is coming August 28th. I'm so happy right now. I want to give you a little bit of context here. Until this game was announced, I'd only ever played Mafia 2 all the way through. I'd never touched Mafia 1. And I really have grown this appreciation for the game. It is one of the best games I've played in quite a few years and I really enjoy it. Um, and this has made me so excited. You can hear my voice. I'm excited for this. I want to thank 2K um, for involving me with all of this. Without you guys, I, I wouldn't be able to do this. Um, I am just so happy. And I really hope you guys like this. Because I think a lot of people were worried that this remake was going to lose a lot of the fine details. Uh, that the original had. And from what I can see here, that is not the case. Just look at the coffee mug. I mean, oh my god. Anyway, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of this? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.